So the construction of my flatbed solid bag, probably a lot different to what you may have seen or the conventional way of doing a solid bag. First off, you wanna grab yourself a small solid PVA bag. These are the perfect size for this style of bag. Then I introduce about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of my pellet mix to the bottom of the PVA bag. Then I go lead first. And you wanna place that lead so it leans to one side of the PVA bag. I then top up the mix just until the lead disappears. And I tuck my hook bait in the middle of the bag, but on opposite side of the lead. Very important, it's on the opposite side. Top up the bag a little bit more with the mix until the hook bait disappears and you can't see any of your hook link material. I then bring all the corners of the PVA bag together, give it a little twist and tap. Tap from the top and tap from the bottom. As I tap the bag, the bag will expand out as it's getting tighter and tighter as all the pellet in the mix is filling the bag up. The tighter we get it, the harder the bag will get, the more solid the bag will get, hence the name, the better it will fly for the air, and more importantly, the quicker it will sink through the water column. So once you've got all the corners together, you've got it tight, you wanna get yourself some PVA tape. PVA tape is without a doubt the best way of doing it. I've never licked and sticked. I don't think you can get it as tight licking and sticking. So for me, the only way is with PVA. Now when you're doing your PVA tape, each revolution you go round, you want to go underneath each revolution. So basically you're making the bag again tighter and tighter and tighter. This is finished off with two overhand knots, very simple. Then you want to work on your corners. As you're pushing the corners in, you're compacting that pellet into the bag even more. Again, making it tighter and tighter. I see a lot of people just licking and folding over their corners. These solid bags are made extremely well. They're very durable and they stretch, which is important. The more stretch you get out of the bag, again, the more tighter. I'm quite brutal with the bags. You know, I lick it, then really pull it, get a good stretch on, and then let it stick to itself. Hold your licked corner in place for several seconds, just so it bonds well to itself. Once you've trimmed off any excess PVA and the tag ends, you can then move on to another extremely important part, and that is piercing the bag. But you wanna pierce the bag in a certain place, and you wanna do that right next to the hook bait. So pierce a fairly largish hole, I'll get a pair of scissors, place it next to the hook bait, and then once you plop that bag into the water, you'll notice that hole will start bubbling instantly. That's letting the air out, that bag will not then move off the bottom. I've done it before without the hole and the bag melts at the weakest point, wherever that be, and if it's anywhere near the lead side, it can literally flip that bag upside down, and before you know it, your hook bait is being masked by the lead itself.